Hello guys, Carbon Shadow here and we are back for episode 4 of my FIFA 14 career mode and of course if you we are playing as Newcastle United if you haven't seen the past few episodes go back and watch them they're all in a very nice tidy playlist. Um, I have realised that I may have broken many people's eardrums over the past few episodes so I'm going to try and tone it down in this episode and you know keep it keep it at a lower pitch so that I don't break any more eardrums but without further ado let's get on with the episode so here's my lineup for the next game we have Bakali playing left wing Gufran playing up front Ben Arthur playing right wing Marvo in that center attacking mid position with Amiobi coming up the left and Yanazai coming up the right and our defense is Haidara on the left Ryan Taylor on the right and then Yanger and Bira dumbing up uh, Yanger and Bira and Dummit shoring up that defense in the central positions with Robbie Elliott in goal, of course. Now, who are we playing? Charlton Athletic, that's who we're playing. And it, it is our second game in the Capital One Cup run. It is round three of the Capital One Cup. And hopefully we can pick up a win and continue our Cup run after our 2-0 win against Huddersfield in the last episode. I'm going to quickly check our emails because we have one sitting here. And it is from Michael Richardson saying, might I make a request? Unfortunately, he won't be able to play. Um, but I will make sure he tr he... I will, I will try and make sure he gets um, experience out on loan during January because no one picked him up in the summer transfer period. Hopefully he'll get picked up in January. So without further ado, let's play Charlton Athletic and see if we can carry on this fantastic Capital One Cup run. Let's play him, guys. Here we are, guys. Ma uh, round three of the Capital One Cup. And we have kicked off at St. James's Park. And let's see if we can grab another win against Charlton Athletic this time around. We're already on the attack in the first minute. Can Ben Arthur swing this into Gufran? He tries, but we uh, we get a corner from it. Gufran swings it in. Yanger and Biwa, and there's a goal for Newcastle United, and that is 1-0 in the second minute against Charlton Athletic. And it looks like we might be on for another great win and a continuation of our Capital One Cup run this season. Let's watch that goal again. A beautiful header from Yang Grimby with a fantastic. Into Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur. And that is a quick second goal there from Manhattan Ben Arthur. And we're 2-0 up in, in the fourth minute of the game. And that is just fantastic. Absolutely running riot over Charlton Athletic here. And what a fantastic result in the fourth minute of the game. Beautiful. Ben Arthur just using his strength there and what a brilliant, what a brilliant strike against Turan there. And what a great goal. Bakadi's going to swing that one in. Ben Arthur doesn't get to it. Gufran trying to get the ball into Bakali there. The ball's into Ben Arthur. Bakali's onside. And that's a third. And that is uh, three goals in 90 minutes for Newcastle United. We are absolutely running riot over Charlton Athletic. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm lost for words. A brilliant ball from Ben Arthur there. And back alley, just great precision with a fantastic strike there. Great composure. What a brilliant third goal for Newcastle United there. Charlton Athletic on the attack here. Almost getting a goal there. And great defending by Dummett there to get the ball out of the box. Ben Arthur trying to swing that into Sami Amiobi. Nothing comes of that. Yanazai grabbing the ball off Cousins there. Looking for Gufran, getting the ball back himself. Yanazai with a shot. And what a goal! What a goal! That goal is worth shouting about for days. What a strike there by Adnan Yanazai. And that just goes to show why the lad is at Manchester United. And what a fantastic strike. Look at that. Look at that shot. Absolutely beautiful battering shot into the top left hand corner of the goal there and that was fantastic absolutely fantastic Gufran watching Bakali's run Bakali in on goal Bakali with a strike what a fantastic save by Turam there and that's going to go off for a throw in Adnan Yanazai trying to cross that in and that is a foul but we've got the advantage Yanazai crossing that in nothing coming of that and that was a terrible tackle from Charlton Athletic there. But it is half-time. And we go in at 
4-0 in the first 45 minutes. And can we do exactly the same in the second half? We'll have to wait and see. Let's get straight into the second half, lads. We've kicked off with the second half here at St. James's Park. We are 4-0 up in the first 45 minutes. And how many more can we add to the score sheet in the second half? A ball into back alley there, but he's offside. And Charlton trying to get in on goal. It looks like they're in on goal. What's Ro Rob Robbie Elliott getting way out of his way out of position there to stop that from going in, and that really is dedication from the keeper there. Newcastle United on the counter attack. Ben Arthur going down the wing. Some silky skill to bring the ball round. Ben Arthur, good deflection from Charlton Athletic there. Free kick for Charlton Athletic here. Are they going to make good of it? No, it hits the wall and it's off for a Charlton Athletic corner. Ben Alpha looking at Marvo's run, watching Marvo's run there. And that was a great interception by Wood. And Charlton Athletic on a counter. It looks like they're through in on goal. Can Robbie Elliott make a save? And he skies that just wide of the goal. And Church just not able to capitalize on that chance there. Adara into Bakali with the throw. Bakali's in the box with the shot and what a fantastic goal and that's five for Newcastle United. Absolutely destroying Charlton Athletic and this is just embarrassing for Charlton now. And let's watch that goal again. A brilliant little run and a shot from just inside the box into that side netting there and what a brilliant goal that is to make it 5-0 for Newcastle United at St. James's Park. Ben Arthur trying to get that to Bakali. It's into Bakali. Is he going to go for the hat trick? No, he's not. He gets taken, taken out. And that's that chance wasted. I think it's time to bring on some substitutions. So let's see who needs resting up. Yanazai definitely needs resting up. So on comes Gosling. De Jong on for Gufran. Ben Arthur needs resting up because we have a key game against Everton in the next one so maybe we can actually keep Gufran on and play him on the right there let's play Bakali on the right there and let's stick with that De Jong with the corner swings it in Gosling and there's a sixth in the 78th minute and this is just getting ridiculous now Dan Gosling comes off the bench and scores straight away with a sick goal for Newcastle United Let's watch that overpowered header from the corner again. Right into the side netting. De Jong, beautiful swing in. And Gosling just with a great header. De Jong on the attack straight from the kickoff. And he shoots. Oh, and that's seven. And this is just absolutely ridiculous. This is more than ridiculous. This is redonkulous. De Jong with a brilliant strike there from inside the box and Charlton just wishing they hadn't travelled all the way up north to Newcastle to even play this game. They wish they'd stay, stayed at home with their tea and biscuits because they are regretting jumping on that bus. And Charlton really cannot do anything about it now but can Newcastle pull any more goals out of the bag? is the question. De Jong is clearing on goal. And that was extremely close. So being an eighth goal for Newcastle United there. This is going to be the last attack of the game. Will Newcastle United seal an eighth is the question. Amiobi dribbling around Charlton. Amiobi completely dribbling around Charlton. There's the goal. And that's just, oh, that is ridiculous. That is redonkulousness at its finest. And that is 8-0 Newcastle United in the 90th minute with a great dribble and strike from Sami Amiobi there. Let's just watch that again. Just composure, smash into the top of the net. And what an emphatic win. What an emphatic win against Charlton Athletic. I honestly didn't think it was going to be this big of a win. And surely the ref is about to blow the whistle. There it is. 8-0 Newcastle United against Charlton Athletic. And we are most definitely on our way to the next round of the Capital One Cup. And what a great cup run. 8-0. It's ridiculousness. So let's go and have a look at 
our player ratings and Sami Amiobi with an 8.9 there to grab the man of the match at the end there. Everyone above a 7 and that is just ridiculous. And let's just quickly go over all the goals in the game. Let's check out those match facts there. Charlton with 3 shots. Newcastle United with 14 shots, 12 of them on target and 8 of them in the back of the net there. And let's just check out the goal scorers. Goals from Yangram B were Ben Arthur. Two from Bakali. One fantastic goal from Yanazai. An unbelievable strike from about 30 yards out. Gosling getting a header from, from just coming off the bench. De Jong getting one from just coming off the bench. And then Amiobi to seal the deal in the 90th minute. And let's quickly... Let's very quickly watch that Yanazai goal again, because how fantastic was this strike here? Sorry, sorry, let's hide that. How fantastic was that strike there? What a goal! What a fantastic goal! So let's advance onwards. We have the Everton match to go, and that one's going to be a lot harder than our last game there. But what a fantastic result. Steven Taylor complaining about his playtime. Maybe I'll play him more in the FA Cup run. Uh, the we got our tournament prize money and the Sunder the new the sorry the Northeast Derby has been moved three days earlier than its previous date. So let's let's move on. Let's advance. Let's go and. I don't know, praise the team. That's all I can do. Let's, let's praise Newcastle after that ridiculous victory. And Colaccini, of course, wants to play on the pitch. And I will be switching the team up here. We will be playing a holding... 4-3-3 uh, uh, holding formation with Teote in that centre defensive mid position. So let's switch Teote in for... Who is it? Sammy Amiobi. Let's get Yanazai on the left there. Let's place Zoko in on the right. Get Santon in. Let's just shore up that defence there. Colaccini. Let's get Debushi back in the team. Of course, Cabela's still out for about another seven weeks. Which is a real shame because we'd only just bought him in and he got injured in the fourth game of the season. And what else do we want? We I think the up front's fine. Let's just change the formation around and see if everyone's fit on match day. And we'll see if we need to make any additions then. Switch to 4-3-3 holding. And back to our match day. And uh, everyone seems to be fit. Yanazai, maybe Yanazai needs to start off the bench. So let's put Yanazai on the bench and start Gosling. Could start Gosling. Yep, let's start Gosling. So Gosling in that left centre mid position. And I think I'm going to play Remy there and rest up back alley and get De Jong on the pitch. So we have those optional players on the bench to bring on during the second half. So let's go straight into that game there. There's our li there's our lineup quickly again. We are sitting first in the table above Chelsea. One goal in it with the goal difference. So let's see if we can notch ourselves a win at Goodison Park. Let's play Everton. Here we are, guys. Match day six. It's Newcastle versus Everton at Goodison Park. And let's see if we can grab another win in this Premier League campaign. Don't let Morales in on goal. No. Well played, lads. Zoko on that wing to collect the ball there. Is he going to cross it in? He's got space to cross it in. Well defended by Everton there. Hunt down Morales there. Well played, Yang Grimbiwa. No, don't play that into Traore. Oh, no! And there's a first goal for Everton there. The Cena Traore knocking one in at Goodison Park to take Everton 1-0 up in the 8th minute there. Uh, it's not looking so good for Newcastle United. Let's watch that goal again. Really bad pass there from Yanger and Bira. And listening to Troyero just knocking it into the back of the net with ease. Pass Robbie Elliott. Suzoko looking for De Jong. 
De Jong is in on goal. And Everton stop us from getting an attack in there. Come on, lads. Come on, keep him out. Keep him out. Well played. Keeping Ross Barkley offside there. Newcastle on a counter-attack here. Remy into De Jong. De Jong almost beating Jagielka there. Come on. We need to push for this goal in this first half. Where was the foul, ref? There was no foul. They've taken it quickly. Morales, come on. Don't let that in. Good defending there. Ross Barkley almost slipping that one past Robbie Elliott. Remy dispossessing the Everton defence. Remy. Remy. Sweaty into De Jong, but De Jong can't finish it. And Biwa into Suzoko. Suzoko into Remy. Remy turns. Shoots. Nothing comes from it. Remy down on the wing. Down on the wing, watching De Jong's run into the box there. Remy crosses it in. Ben Arthur. De Gosling. Almost. And I think that is half time. Oh, we're still on the attack. And that has got to be half time from the ref there. Is he going to call it? Yes, it is. That is half time at Goodison Park. Newcastle United 1 0 down at Everton. And we really need to pick up our form and grab a goal in the second half if we are to win this game. Newcastle kick off the second half here at Goodison Park. 1 0 down in the first half. Can they pull it back? Sissoko on the wing. Sissoko almost crossing it in, but can't get it past Baines. Ben Arthur nicking the ball off Gareth Barry there. Ben Arthur into Remy. Almost finishes. But Howard picks the ball up before Remy has a chance to. Young stealing it off Baines there. De Jong working his way into the box. De Jong. Shot. Gosling offside. Debussy getting that into Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur gets away with it on that wing there. Can he cross it in? Ben Arthur, De Jong, almost. Gosling playing that into De Jong. De Jong finding Ben Arthur. All Ben Arthur has to do is finish it. And the defence stops Ben Arthur from getting his shot in on goal there. Time to make some subs. And it is time to bring on one of our youngsters, maybe two of them. Gosling is coming off for Yanazai. And Bakali is coming on for Ben Arthur. And I think that'll be it for now. Everything else looks good. Let's see if we can grab that goal back. Teote into Suzoko. Suzoko almost finding Ben Arthur. Too many almost chances in this game for Newcastle United. Not enough sure chances. With our youngsters on the pitch now, can we push for a goal? Great save by Robbie Elliott there. Bakali finds De Jong. De Jong! Nothing there. And that is a loss to Everton at Goodison Park. Our first loss of the season. It was an extremely close game, but we just couldn't put a goal past Tim Howard there. Very close to getting one right at the end of the game there with Luke De Jong, but it didn't happen for us today. A goal in the eighth minute for Lucina Traore sealed it for Everton. And one goal was all it took for Everton to win that game. Let's see who our player of the match was. Our player of the match was Dan Gosling. And let's advance on to the next game. Our next game is Cardiff City. Can we pull a win at the Cardiff City Stadium? Let's check our emails quickly. Let's go to that press conference and motivate the tune because after that loss at Goodison Park, they really do need some motivation. Check Teoto saying it doesn't seem he's needed. So I'm going to play another holding, 4-3-3 holding role at, at Cardiff City so that Teoto gets more pitch time. Colaccini thanking him for us playing him in that last game. And let's just sort out the squad very quickly. It looks like leaving those younger players out of the squad really did make a difference. So let's remove Gosling, put Yanazai back in the team. 
Let's get Bakali back in the team as well for Loic Remy. And I think Remy played a little better than De Jong in that last game. So we'll play Remy with that pace up front to see if we can push for some goals against Cardiff. Robbie Elliott can stay in goal. He didn't play terribly in the last game. And we will put on Paul Dummett for sure. And Tydara. Who has already gone up to a 71, which is fantastic. And let's get Yanga and Biwar on for Colaccini. And I think that is what we're going to play. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the bench. Very happy with that. Yep. That is the formation we're playing. Robbie Elliott in goal. Debushi, Dummett and Biwa Haidara in defence. Teote in that critical centre defensive mid role. Suzoko and Yanazai in those other centre mid roles. And Ben Arthur, Remy and Bakali in those forward roles. So let's move on and let's play Cardiff City. Can we grab a win at the Cardiff City Stadium? We are currently sitting second in the table behind Spurs on top of Chelsea and Southampton and Liverpool taking those fourth and fifth spots in the top five spots in the table. So let's play Cardiff City and see if we can pull back our first place spot. Here we are, match day seven at the Cardiff City Stadium. It is new Cardiff City versus Newcastle United and can we pick up a win after our first loss of our Premier League campaign? Teote into Remy. Remy trying to find Suzoko. Suzoko almost finishing it, but Marshall grabbing the ball there just before Suzoko could pull off his shot. Remy trying to dribble around the players. He does so. Remy in on goal. Suzoko to finish. And almost a goal for Newcastle United in that 8th minute. Remy swinging in the corner. Paul Darmit with the header, but someone on the line there to stop his header from going into the goal. Yanazai grabbing the ball. Musa Suzoko, he's found space. And he misses with what looked like a clear chance on goal there for, for uh, Newcastle United. And we really should have put that one away. Djordjevic onside there, trying to get across into the box. And oh, so close for Cardiff there. And what a great save by Robbie Elliott. And that could have been 1-0 to Cardiff in the 20th minute. Remy looking for someone to get the ball to. Gets into Suzoko, who passes it into Ben Arthur. Can Ben Arthur make an assist on this wing? Or is he going to try and dribble through the defence? It looks like he is. Is Ben Arthur going to get a goal? What a save by Marshall. Marshall keeping Cardiff City in this game. Remy with a third corner for Newcastle United. Will they get it in this time? Teote and very close. Just over the crossbar there. Back alley on the ball. Making a run. Down the wing. Is he going to try for a goal here? Back alley and what a finish. What a finish by Zakaria Bakali there. And Newcastle have netted their first goal in the 43rd minute away from home at Cardiff City Stadium. And is this how we take back our form? Are we going to grab a win away from home at Cardiff City here? We'll have to find out. Remy getting that ball into Bakali. Bakali making a run down the wing again. Oh, some great skill to keep that. Oh, and almost getting that past the defence there. And that's half time. 45 minutes have been played. Newcastle are 1 0 up at the Cardiff City Stadium. And can they grab another goal to secure it in the next 45 minutes? We'll have to find out. Second half, the Cardiff City Stadium. It is 1 0 to Newcastle after that abysmal defeat at Everton. It wasn't a terrible performance, but can they pick it up here? Can they pick up another win and retrieve their first place spot back? Remy plays that into Ben Arthur, who's onside. Ben Arthur, and what a goal. What a goal in the 48th minute there. And what a fantastic finish from Hatton Ben Arthur. A brilliant lob through ball in from Loic Remy, as we see here. And then Ben Arthur, Ben Arthur with a volley into the top left-hand corner of that net. And what a fantastic goal in the 48th minute for Newcastle there. We are 2-0 up at the Cardiff City Stadium. Come on, back alley. He's on a run. He sees Teote. But Teote wastes possession there. And Biwit into Bakali. Bakali finding Remy. But Remy was offside. Suzoko grabbing the ball off Noon. Playing it into Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur's got options in the box. He's got 
Bakali in the box. Bakali, so close. And that's a penalty. A, a penalty has been given. And we'll have to see what the foul was here because I could not see a foul. Well, Bakali goes to ground and the ref gives a penalty. And how controversial is that? First penalty of the season. Are we going to slot it home? Bakali. Oh, and he slots it beautifully into the top left-hand corner of that net. And that is 3-0. And a perfect penalty from Zakaria Bakali there. And that is 3-0 in the 59th minute. Let's watch that penalty again. A very controversial decision from the ref. And Bakali with a great finish in the back of the net. What a great finish from Bakali there. 3-0, Newcastle United. Yeah, as I into Bakali. Bakali into Remy. Remy! What a save from Marshall there. Newcastle United corner. Remy swings it in. Yangra Biwa! And that's 4 0 at the Cardiff City Stadium, and that is definitive enough. That looks like a win for the tune. Let's see that header again. Remy swings in. A perfect corner. And Yangra and B were right in the centre there, just ahead of that over Marshall. What a great goal. So let's have a look and see who needs resting up. Bakali and Yanazai both need resting up. And I think we're going to bring De Jong on. So De Jong will come on for Bakali and play in strike in that striker position with Remy in that left wing position. Yanazai will come off for Gufran. And I think that is what we will play. Yeah, let's get straight back into the action. Teote into Musa Suzoko. Suzoko with the shot. And that was an extremely close chance on goal. And Suzoko really should have netted that one there. Debushi into Ben Arthur here. Ben Arthur taking that around Fabio. Ben Arthur to cross it in the box. Ben Arthur into De Jong. Couldn't make anything of it. Fraser Campbell trying to make a running on goal. It doesn't happen for him. The Bushin on Gunnison and Campbell offside. And that could have been a golden opportunity for Cardiff City there. The whistle about to blow. The crowd yearning for that whistle. And there it is. And Newcastle United, we have picked up a 4-0 victory at the Cardiff City Stadium. And that's a fantastic result after that, that defeat at Goodison Park. But the highlight of this episode has to have been that 8-0 win against Charlton Athletic. And what an emphatic win that was. And Yanazai netting a goal, which could, in fact, be goal of the tournament. And maybe goal of the season for Newcastle United. We'll have to wait and see. Let's find out who the man of the match was. It was Loic Remy with a 9.7 there. And let's advance on and check the tables and our next fixtures for the next episode. Over now to give you the classified results. So after match day 7, the table sits a bit like this. Newcastle United, we have taken back that first place spot. That is fantastic. I honestly did not think we'd be there after seven games. Liverpool in second there. Spurs in third. Southampton in fourth. And it is all very close. And Chelsea in fifth there. And it is all very, very, very close. Only three points in it between fifth and first. So it could go either way this season. It and in that relegation zone, Sunderland right at the bottom now. And that's what I like to see. Hull City just above Sunderland and Crystal Palace sitting in there. Manchester City dropping points. And now in 12th, Manchester United gaining some points and are in 11th. But still, the two Manchester teams, the two Manchester Titans sitting mid-table. It doesn't look right, does it? So that is how the table stands as, as of this moment in time. And Newcastle United sitting in a first place spot. But it's not secure. It is nowhere near secure. 
And our next few games are going to be crucial because if we have a look at the calendar here, our next game is against second place Liverpool at St. James's Park. And that is going to be a very difficult game. We then have Sunderland away. So we have Sunderland at the Stadium of Light, which is a huge game, almost even bigger than the Liverpool game when... It concerns football because it is, of course, the North East Derby. It is the Tyne Wear Derby, and that is a huge game. And we must win that because in real life, we've bit, we've lost the past three Tyne Wear Derbies to Sunderland. So can Carbon Shadow jump in to where Alan Pardew was and take back the Tyne Wear Derby for Newcastle United? We'll have to wait and see. And then we play Liverpool again in that episode in the Capital One Cup round of 16. And that is a crucial game for our cup run. So we have to try and beat Liverpool twice in the space of one episode. Can we do it? So that is episode 5 lined up for you. Liverpool at St. James's Park. Then Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. And then Liverpool again. And that will be our next episode. Just recapping the results we got this episode. An emphatic, more than emphatic win at Charlton's home ground. Beating them 8-0. We lost 1-0 at Goodison Park to Everton. And we beat Cardiff City at the Cardiff City Stadium 4-0. I've been Carbon Shadow, guys. Thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are two episodes of FIFA 14 career mode out every week. The next episode due out next Tuesday. Don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>